Today, we are celebrating our 10th annual Senior Citizens Day with two super guests, Ms. Terry Williams. Pleased to be here. And Lee's own Ms. Yvette Barnes. How are you ladies doing? Oh, we're great. Well, How are great you, Mr. Barnes? Here, Mr. Good, good. Mr. And Williams. so I'm kind of excited. This Number one, this is our 10th annual. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And number two, you guys always are participants and strong supporters of um, our Senior Citizens Partners, Day. Partners, yes. Huh? And uh, thank you for that. On behalf of the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, Delta Center on Aging, and Crittenden Regional Hospital, yes, we're delighted to be another sponsor this year. Well, in support of sponsors, you know, the whole nine yards, and we really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's kind of like the, 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 the spikes in the wheels, you know, and we really appreciate it. Um, what are Ms. Barnes, um, we, we were the, at the same location of last year, but in a different, uh, actually different room. Is that not right? That is correct, Mr. Blair. Last year, we were at uh, Southland Park Gaming and Racing on the first floor. This year, we're celebrating the seniors in a totally new renovated section of the Gaming and Racing Center, and it's called the Starting Gate Event Center huge room, big capacity. Now we chose that venue because last year we were almost at capacity at 280 some odd people. We are anticipating that it's gonna be even more participation this year. We are hoping to meet 300 and above. And with that said, the room that uh, we're using will accommodate that crowd good. and more vendors. Right. So we're looking forward to it being even better, better organized and more people showing up to help honor, you know, the senior citizens from the Crittenden County and all of the regional connecting counties. We're yeah. looking forward to you know, all of the information just getting out and floating like it should and all of the face-to-face -face contact that we need to make to make sure that everybody is informed. We're working right now as we speak, getting all of that taken care of. Well, I, again, um, mm -hmm. we, and I say we, meaning Lee, mm -hmm. we appreciate you. This is a, actually your project of the organization and, and it's mm -hmm. uh, been a success that you've taken it over and you've been made um, improvements with it by leaps and bounds with your creativity and innovativeness and we want to thank you on camera for doing such a great job and excited about like I say the upcoming event as well. Well Mr. Blair thank you very much. Now I take no credit for all of the leaps and bounds we made. I was a willing team member to get in there and roll up my sleeves but we have partners like Delta Center on Aging, yes. and AARP. Yes. We work diligently with uh, you know one another to brainstorm and come up with ways to you know, keep improving. One thing that we're wanting to make certain we do this year is work on the timelines and the time factors so that we can get all of our honored guests in and out in a timely manner. Yes, ma'am. And our starting and stopping point are just what we said they will be. So whatever it takes behind the scenes to make it happen, we're making certain that you know we roll up sleeves, do what needs to be done to make it happen. And information on the, the, the function, the times, and the uh, contact number. Okay. Um, share that with our viewing audience if you would. Thank you, I will. This event is always the first Wednesday in August. Now there's a proclamation, you know, allowing us to hold this event every year to honor the seniors of Crittenden and surrounding counties right. first Wednesday. First Wednesday this year falls on August 1st. And the time is start time 10 o'clock. We intend to be prompt and on the spot 10 o'clock have Uddy in seated and ready to start uh, you know, the entertainment for you know, the seniors. Right. 
And, and Ms. Williams, um, in reference to the Delta Center on Aging. Yes, sir. You guys are in a new location from last year, year before, right? Certainly, that is okay. correct. Um, mm -hmm. In April of this year, Delta Center on Aging opened a wellness center okay. from the education department. And that is now located at 120 West Tyler in West Memphis which is just across from the hospital. Okay. But it is a central location, it's a ground floor location. And in that wellness center, we are planning to have more activities for the senior citizens of Crittenden County. In fact, we have instituted, started in July, the Thursday program, which is called uh, um, Exercise for Limited Mobility. That's for anybody who has any limitation in any of their limbs. They can come in from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and we'll have free exercise programs for them. It will also provide them an opportunity to socialize with other elderly people, which they normally don't get to do. Right. So we're excited about being able to offer that for um, the citizens of Crittenden County. In addition to our wellness center, we will have continue to have our regular exercise program, which is Peer Exercise Program Promotes Independence, mm -hmm. fondly called PEPI. And it's a, it's a chair exercise that works with resistance bands, again, for anybody who wants to exercise. As you know, Delta Center on Aging focuses on helping seniors to remain physically fit mm -hmm. so that they can stay within the community and within their own homes, and at the same time to enjoy their social contacts and their family members than being placed in other facilities. So with PEPI, we find most of our seniors who practice PEPI are actually physically more active and remaining independent. Great, great, and, and that, that is that's sharp. I like that. Um, being that health and fitness is something that I'm connected with and you know I, I know you'd I, appreciate that I can actually see the importance of that especially um, with our elderly and seniors um, mm -hmm. movement is life and life's movement that's mm -hmm. great so um, that's that's very very that's, that's very nice thank you very nice on um, our upcoming program this year Ms. Barnes mm -hmm. um, you, we, you did state that we would have vendors of course yes and activities Yes. Um, could you kind of elaborate on some of the activities that um, our s seniors would be participating in? Mr. Blair, yes. Our activity, we don't have them totally outlined uh, agenda-wise, mm -hmm. right. but uh, we have discussed some things that we'd like to see. We do have people who are coming in to involve the seniors in uh, entertainment mm -hmm. like uh, square dancing and uh, we have a ballerina excuse me ballet group coming who also will do things with the seniors to engage them mm -hmm. we're working on you know outlining activities from delta center on aging of course and right. miss terry and her group you know are going to engage the seniors mm -hmm. our theme this year is, and I don't want to misquote it, never too old to enjoy life, love, and laughter. And we want to build everything on that theme so that we can you know, actually have a good old time with uh, engaging seniors in, in just life. Understand. And, and enjoying the laughter and, uh, of the event and so forth. Understand. We have people coming from distances. Right to you know, honor them. Uh, for instance, uh, we were talking the square dancing and so forth. Square dance company is over in Memphis and they are you know, intending to you know, just come and perform. And then we have the dance group coming that uh, would uh, definitely be able to perform as long as we'd want them to all day long if we wanted them to. And with Miss Terry's uh, exercises, I'm sure she has chair movements oh, yeah. for them, but I'll let her tell you about mm -hmm. that. It's one of the things we were bringing um, this year is, uh, again, for individuals with limited mobility who are wheelchair bound, who can't get up and move around like everyone else, we will do uh, an activity called sit and dance. Oh yeah. So only sitting, but there'll be movements, 
with music mm -hmm. so that they can actually participate in and get some exercise and some fun out of it. Okay. In addition, what I will do is we'll bring the brick screen up and we will have Zumba Gold for anyone in the audience who would like to get up and practice the new craze <laughs> of Zumba dancing. Mm -hmm. So that should be an inter yeah, right. um, interesting um, <laughs> event just to watch and to participate in. So, And of course, there's the usual line dancing, which everybody wants to do. So we'll have a couple of selections for that. Of course, being led by uh, my assistant, Miss Angela Evans. Good deal. I might participate myself. Not in the Zuma, but the, maybe the chair exercises. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Chair Mr. exercise. Yes. We dare you. Um, yeah, I sure might. Uh, also, uh, I, I just wanted to say briefly mm -hmm. we are working on getting a few choirs. Uh, the thing uh, that everybody has to understand is that all participants have to be over 21 years of age and the young crowd that we have depended on in the past to help to entertain the seniors most of them are disallowed because of the age right so you know we're still and the not, venue that's right and the, the venue, venue. So the venue as well. interested yes. mm -hmm. they can contact you of course, uh, they can through. contact uh, anybody Plus. at LEAD. We have created a flyer, and uh, this flyer actually is going out to everybody mm -hmm. and the general public that is interested. Mm -hmm. We also will have flyers uh, scattered throughout the community right. in places that everybody frequent. Now, uh, with that said, that flyer has contact information. I do believe Ms. Williams' name is on it as well as yours and Ms. Vale Robinson from LEAD right. uh, with phone numbers. We also will have information in reference uh, to this event on our website at followourlead.org F-O-L-L-O-W-O-U-R-L-E-A-D dot org without any spaces. Right. Now I'm going to do a little housekeeping, speaking okay. of that. There is uh, a little bit of work that we still need to do to just um, brighten up the website, give it more you know, uh, information uh, that the public can use. The information that is there now, some of it looks a little bit generic. There is a space that lists all of the events. This particular event is listed, the 10th annual senior, annual Seniors Day uh, is listed as August 1st, but the venue that is listed on the website is incorrect. Changed. It's gonna have to be changed. So anybody that is out there looking and they see the information prior to probably Friday or Monday, they will see the venue um, in West Memphis uh, the Eugene Woods Civic Center, that is actually incorrect. We had to change venues because of capacity. Right. Yeah. Um, limited capacity uh, at that particular venue you know, caused us to have to, you know, just find another venue for those that we had to accommodate. And we're looking forward to everybody who wants to honor the seniors to you know, just contact either Ms. Terry Williams at her number list flyers, Ms. Vale Robinson, yourself, Mr. Blair, or me. And we will be glad to just fill them in with any information that is right. not already on these flyers. They can also go to, to the website. And the website is gonna have information in reference to this event. Now, can I say one more thing while yes. we're, okay, in reference to media, the programs that Mr. Blair currently tapes, including this one, are now being put out there on YouTube. Right. Okay. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, I have watched those from February, March, April. Uh, there may have been one in May. I don't see it out there yet, but I'm sure it will be. And all anybody interested in seeing your previous shows need to do mm -hmm. is in the Google search engine, just type in YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B, 
with a dash, the Maurice Blair Show. And it uh, will prompt them to look at every show. Excuse me, there comes a, a message page, of course, the information page that lists all of your shows starting in February. All your right. picture is right there, so they see your picture, they can't miss you. Right. There are other Maurice Blairs that are on the website, but uh, they will never mistakenly choose one of those. Right. Um, and it is the, T-H-E, Maurice Blair Show right. on yeah. YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. Yes, sir. Great. All right. Great. Also, um, Ms. Williams. Yes. Ms. What uh, some of the, in reference to the future goals um, of um, Delta Center of on Aging in reference to your, you guys possibly in years ahead, involvement, um, uh, partnering, uh, and that's something you guys do um, is partner and connect with other, organ other businesses and organizations within not only community, within Crittenden County, is that not right? That is correct. Uh, Delta Center in Aging, for those who don't know, is a part of the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Okay, I didn't know. In partnership with Crittenden Regional Hospital, we have a senior health clinic, which is a medical clinic that addresses the medical needs of older individuals or individuals with chronic conditions, which push them in the category, not because of their age, but mm -hmm. because of their conditions. I understand. In addition to that, we have the Education Center, which is mainly my department, and through the Education Center, we provide health education, fitness, resources for this and for individuals. So across Crittenden County and in the surrounding seven counties of Phillips, Lee, Monroe, uh, Mississippi, Helena, I'm sorry, Phillips again, mm -hmm. We have um, outreach act Good. activities where we reach out to the seniors there. Good. In order to address the needs of the <laughs> elderly, one of the things we have done through a generous donation from the Reynolds Foundation, through the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences and the Arkansas Aging Initiative, which is our umbrella organization, is to provide a program that is actually training individuals to become caregivers for families within the home. We have a four-part training program which trains individuals home caregivers. It is a certified mm -hmm. program of the Schmieding Foundation. It's called a Schmieding Family Home Caregiver Training Program. Now that is a program that requires individuals to either play, apply for scholarships or to pay in order to progress through the series of trainings that we do. Mm -hmm. Additionally, which is free to the public in Crittenden County, is a family caregiver workshop series that addresses the issues of dementia and physical skills. So it's for any family member who is taking care of a family member at home or who plans to provide care for a family member at home, right. they can come through our uh, eight-hour training program and get the skills that they need in order to perform whatever it is they do a little bit more comfortably, mm -hmm. a little more competently. The goal of Delta Center on Aging is to provide care wherever the family needs it, wherever the individual needs it. And equipping the families to provide care within the home is just one step. Okay, great. That, that, that's a big umbrella and I like that. It, 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 it entails a lot and it's, it's, it's not only worthy, but it's nursianic. I like that. Yes, mm -hmm. it provides health care. One of the things we have to be um, attentive to is that as individuals age and as they become older, we're seeing a group of individuals, including myself, mm -hmm. who will be aging with the intent of still maintaining some degree of independence and physical mobility. Right. So we have to be preparing to take care of that population, the baby boomers as they call us. Mm -hmm. We have to be prepared to take care of that population and provide care for them within the community that addresses their needs. Um, one way to do this is to provide the education and support that they need 
in order to stay healthy, stay um, mentally vigorous, um, stay socially connected right. and to do that. And as we move into our new wellness center, what it is we're looking at is um, starting a resource area where these individuals can have access not just to the physical equipment that we have in place or the exercise programs that we have in place, but to a resource um, of information that deals with health in addition to um, computer access so that they can look up anything they need right, to do. Is. So it is equipping them to deal with technology and to deal with the changing face of technology and healthcare for the future. Mm, that is all right. Thing. That is. Kind of like a one stop. We're hoping it will be a one stop mm -hmm. shop. In fact, our goal is to be for our region of Northeast Arkansas, the premier provider of healthcare health education and support for the seniors in our region and the family members who take care of them. Good All deal. right, Ms. Good Chair. deal. Um, also, again, Ms. Barnes, um, the event, August 1st, uh, Senior Citizens Day, mm -hmm. it is a free event, right? It is a free event. It doesn't cost a thing to attend. For all of the honored guests that will be there, though, we will be giving them something for attending. Everybody that attends that is a senior should walk away with something. Right. And with that said, everybody knows that bingo is always one oh, of wow. top activities. Right. And uh, during that session, or somewhere during the program period, we're gonna have a raffle where people actually will have a ticket with a number on it to win just nice things. We have some very unique things that have been put together by one of our own at LEAD, Ms. Val Robinson. Right. She is very crafty. We call her LEAD's bright spirit, the bright side of LEAD. And what she has agreed to do for the seniors is make nice blankets we have two that uh, she has already completed. They sure are nice. Ooh, they, are, are nice. they are very nice. And what uh, she will be doing is uh, raffling these. These will you know, be on a display okay. at uh, our booth for right. LEAD. All of LEAD's information will be. And somebody will walk away you know, with one of her blankets. And there will be other nice things. We do uh, require that vendors who are setting up uh, you know, their boots right. and their equipment help us to participate uh, in providing supplies and gifts or mm -hmm. trinkets uh, you know, for the seniors right. so that everybody that is being honored do have uh, you know, something that they can walk Good away deal. with. Those are real nice. They are beautiful. She does nice. good, great work. Yes, she does. Good job. I yeah, like I wish this. she was here on stage so that she could talk about them because she does a much better job than I expressing the purpose mm -hmm. and her, you know, heart that goes, heart and soul that goes right. into mm -hmm. these. Right. Yes, but they're lovely. Nice. All, um, mm -hmm. The um, speaking of the bingo. Yes, sir. Um, that's one of the highlights of the program that the seniors really do enjoy and um, every year it's, it, it creates great camaraderie and excitement mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and the food is also as they say yes. off the chain yes, yes. it is um, it, it's especially prepared mm -hmm. um, by Southland mm -hmm. but through Southland and it's, it caters toward the senior citizens, is that not yes, right? Yes, it does, and it's delicious. Thank you, Mr. Blair, for you know, reminding us of that. The food uh, is prepared based on a uh, generic diet for seniors mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the low salt mm -hmm. and you know, all of those things that uh, you know, are right. for helping them to stay healthy. Right. It's healthy eating, but it is delicious. Mm -hmm. um, 
in the past, the centers have, you know, just helped in providing, you know, those kind of things that their groups can eat. Mm -hmm. Right. They no longer have to be responsible for making certain that they cook and bring their own foods because we have a person who is responsible catering. Uh, for, uh, yeah, for catering at uh, Southland uh, Gaming and Racing who specially prepares um, you know, the menu right, right. and you know, we approve it of course, but uh, when uh, it is all put together and the food is all laid out, it's not only just tasty, it is beautiful. They did a great setup last year. Yes. And we just can't wait to see you know, what it looks like and definitely what it tastes like this year. And for mm -hmm. any of our Memphians who would like to come over and participate, mm -hmm. or come over and perform, what contact number, I mean, I, they can contact me. My number is area code 901-503-4866. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that way, and of course, they, well, you have your number as well as yours, Ms. Barnes, but mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a, this is, we wanna kinda reach across the bridge and, and welcome um, other uh, nursing homes, other senior citizens, other performers as well. well so, um, you know, and, and like you said, they're able to go on our website and pull mm -hmm. up the information they need as well mm -hmm. to, to be of help where they can, um, can make their connection and come over across this side of the bridge. And yes, we'd love time. to have as many, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That was it. Okay. We'd love to have as many Memphians as possible to just come across that bridge. We do have some that will be performing. We also have some vendors right. from the Memphis area Absolutely. who are coming over. Any vendors who are interested, you're That's right. That's right. Uh, some already committed, but any that are wanting to commit, we still have space. Right. That room uh, at this particular point, uh, we would say that we only have about 20 that have committed. Mm -hmm. We probably could have 10 or 15 more easily. easily. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. So if uh, others are wanting to, my contact number is 870-588-6912, and they can feel free to call me, period, Yvette Barnes. Right, yes. right. Be, well, we kind of winding this thing down. Um, we don't have a, maybe a minute or less left on the show, but we really enjoyed it. We enjoy having you. Yes, Ms. Williams, we do. Um, you, mm -hmm. you do a good job on the show. You do a good job off the show. You do a good job in, in your craft and what, what you're doing and just in general in this well. And okay. greatly appreciate you. I want to say I, we, I appreciate and lead appreciate you guys you. coming in every year and um, partnering with us and doing such a super job. Thank you. And for anyone wanting to contact Delta Center on Aging, right. our new number is 870-733-1148. That is my direct line. You can get me anytime and I'll be happy to share any information in regards to the annual celebration for seniors or any of the programs offered by Delta Center on Aging. Well, great, great. Well, ladies, we're about to wind this thing down. All right. 